Yeah, we are all here for this all-important Eliminator 1. National Bank Karachi Cricket Stadium will host two very fine teams. Islamabad United versus Quetta Gladiators, they lock horns. The quality of being coherent and intelligible will be tested. We know that Multan Sultans have already made it to the final of this year's HBL PSL. Peshawar Zalmi got beaten, so they will play winner of this eliminator. So what happened at the toss? Danny Morrison was out there with the two captains. It was Islamabad United who called correctly. They won the toss and elected to bat. Look at the side here. When you think about the balance of it, the top there, two big names. Martin Guppel comes in for Colin Munro. That's the big standout there. And you think about the one right down the bottom, Obed McCoy for Tamar Mills. So a lefty for a lefty. And uh, the usual suspects in that middle order are so key should the top fail. Should Hales and Guptill and Salman not make it? But when you look at the all-round talent and the pace of those Shah brothers, very exciting. And uh, Obed McCoy, tough for him, hasn't really played at all. And you're into the tournament, but he has a wonderful bag of tricks. Quite a gladiators, no change. The top two, South Shaquille and Bin, a very, very good form. Jason Roy is hitting quite nicely. Riley Rousseau, who hasn't really had a good PSL this year, but uh, he can turn it around very quickly. Omar Yusuf played a couple of good knocks. Laurie Evans there, Akilah Sen, a wonderful left arm spinner. And then they're, uh, the bowlers, to Seem Jr. Muhammad, they only got two paces and they're heavily depending on the spinners. Right. Yes. All cylinders go. Here we are for Eliminator 1. Oh, beats him outside the off stump. Massive appeal. There's nothing from the keeper. Asan Raza is not moved. What an emotional start that. <laughs> oh, I love him. Muhammad Amir with all that emotion. Now that's the problem with Wasim Jr. So his radar can be off. That's wide. Five wides. Yeah, Danny, he's not a swing bowler. That's the problem. Edge, no slip in place. That's gone for four. Oh, that smash over cover. No need to run for that one. That really was nailed. Picked up the link so early, and that's a confidence booster, certainly for Guptil. Makes room, hits it straight. That is some shot. One bounce over the rope. Lovely batting, two back to back boundaries. It's 20 without a wicket. There's the biggie. Really is a big hit. Clears the fence quite easily, and that's the advantage that you get with these openers. They're strong, they're tall, and hit the ball hard down the ground. It's another one. KFC scholarship will... Yes, clears the fence quite easily. This is massive counter-punch, massive counter-attack here. Five done. Islamabad uniting, 46 without a wicket. Gets the gap to absolute perfection. There's a bit of a long hop and stuck into the surface. Sit up nicely again for Hales. 50 on the board. This time up in the air. Long on settles. Comfortably pouches it. Jason Roy with the catch. All that firepower from Hales now has to walk back. He got too comfortable out there in the middle. He was able to hit a couple of sixes and then he thought he can go after every delivery coming in his way. That's where he faltered. Yeah, nicely done, Butch. That's the end of uh, Alex Hales. <laughs> 23 from 20, 51 for one. Oh, catch it. One, two, three, third attempt. He's put it down. Or picked up in some magnificent fashion. Once again, the line 
and he pays the price. Oh, beautiful again. Top timing on that and placement also very, very good from Salman Ali Aga. That's another one. That's another one that sails into the fence. The distance on some of these hits. The ball is traveling here in Karachi. Has brilliantly placed as well. Played it late. And got the spot and the timing very nicely. Down the track, hits it really well, but there is a field of play, so easily taken. Jason Roy, very comfortable under nine. Yeah, it was there, it was tossed up a little higher, a little slower. Comes down early, premeditates. Yeah, inside half. Is there to cat, there to take. Jason Roy, he's not going to drop that. Salman Ali Aga, 31, 102 for two. This time into the onside, it's in the air and scored it all the way. Maximum. I thought he miscued that one. I thought he was going straight to the man at mid wicket. But I guess these new bats, modern bats, all uh, just sailed away for six. Uh, has it? Has it gone all the way? You bet it has. That has been struck beautifully. From Shadab. Another magnificent hit. There it is. He tries to go over the top of mid wicket, doesn't get all of it. A good catch. Faja Nafe in the David Brar. Well, the pressure built and got a wicket off the last ball. Yeah, they needed this. But uh, again, a bit slower. It's the leg spinner. Eye on the bat. It's a good outfield catch. It went high. Good safe set of hands and an important wicket. Much needed one. Skipper's got to go. Islamabad 131 for three. Yeah, he's thinking of trying to bosh it downtown into a gap. Wasling Jr. can't get there and it's a half century to the old boy. Marty Gapple who's come in for Colin Munro. Innings of highest quality. Employing his international experience, deciphered the conditions very early and played with a definitive plan. Yeah, no second invitation for the big guy. He smokes this beautifully. Isn't it the ideal situation for Azam Khan to come out and bat? Oh, and a little bit of cheek as well. Manny does well against his old team. He says to Dad, you can choke on that with me, and mate's a quitter. But it doesn't count. We want a little shimmy. And, and... Oh, he's got it. You're kidding me. He's fatted this as well. Well, I don't know about fat. He's thinned it. And it had no right to go all the way for six. I'll tell you that. Akil Hussain has done him like a kipper. Yeah. Got him! Very brief, very entertaining, but Azim Khan has to head back because the poles are over. Slightly quicker and fuller. Uh, 18 from just six from Azim Khan. Got this an to safety. Yeah. Azim Khan goes for 18, 155 for four. Oh, it's a beauty. Little glove, yeah. There you go, as simple as that. And uh, Fahim Ashraf is out of here. No, well-directed bouncer took the pace off as well. And picks up his first wicket. Fahim scored one, and it's 158 for five. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Oh, Gonski. Really good bounce throw. Hyder Ali took it on, and I think he's come second here. It's nice and slow. Connected ball. Nails are off. Battle is well shot off of the crease. I'm ready to make my decision. 
Yeah, the dreaded red. Hunter Alley, he goes two for just a single. And now it's 159 for six. Oh, Marty, Marty Guptal. Is this out as well? Follow up from Mohamed Wasim. I think Ahmad Wasim knows. So, man, have we had some runouts of late. It's nice and slow. Yeah. Wheels are off. Better shot of the ground. I'm ready to make my decision. Chain strip. It looks like Crystal Palace versus United. And he scored in the bottom corner. Four from three. One, six, five for seven. Six and a wicket. Can this disappear? Gabdul. Oh, no. Oh, he struck it clean. But Jason Roy's got in the way. What a good boy. What an over from the same junior. He's been on the money. Finding that block hole consistently in this over. And it's a recovery and a half from Poeta Gladiators. Scored 56 from 47 deliveries. 166 for eight. Zingers, a light here. And they're doing a great job here, Quetta, in the fight back. At this time around, the length was increased. Pace was taken off into the stroke a bit early. Hunan, and he's been dismissed. Zero, and it's 167 for nine. Last ball. Could it be a wicket maiden? No, it can't! You're kidding! Fat City! Nassim Shah does get them over the 170 for the United. What a strike, what a finish to this innings. The Kota Gladiators will feel they got out of jail. Because at one time, like you said, they were threatened to concede close to 190. They recovered well kept on picking up wickets at regular interval at the death of the innings and now they have treated the situation for themselves uh, to have a crack at this total achieved by Islamabad United bowling at the top here was outstanding Look at that 12 dots and two for 20 I seem junior little expensive early on one for 40 Keela saying two for 34 the bra one for 32 and Shaquille at one for five were the wicket takers for Quetta, who took nine of them with a couple of runouts as well. So, uh, good performance, a good comeback for those in purple. Yeah, so 175 to get. I think at the toss, he would have been happy with that, Shadab Khan. So, runs on the board in Eliminator 1. They always say that, knockout matches, don't they? Let's see if they can get up here, Quetta, and bake it to tomorrow night. We'll see you on the other side. And he starts out with a predominantly strong feel on the offside. Here we go then. Oy. Full toss and an easy run. He's off the mark. I think from Quetta's point of view, they're so heavily reliant on Jason Roy and Seu Chiki love the order. There's a sweep shot and I think he's taken down the leg side. The finger goes up. That's a massive breakthrough, and Imad Basim once again does the job. Wow, it was very smart bowling. He went slower, and he went to the leg side where he's got protection. Two men out on the boundary. Slower, leg side line, flicks the glove. Big wicket to start. Well, so Chikil tonight cracks one. It's one for one. Edge and taken. Has he taken it? They're claiming it. Well, this is massive from Islamabad United. I think Jason Roy is walking, but he's going to have another look at it. It's nice and slow. Yes, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Roll it back one more time. Not roll forward. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, roll forward. I can see the fingers are under the ball. Ball went straight into the hand. I'm ready to make my decision. That is such a good grab. A Quota Gladiators grass three. It's a big wicket too, Jason Roy. It's got to go for just the one. Oh, glorious way to get off the mark. What a cracking shot. 
Big shot, catch it as the call, come on! And I think he's able to hold on to it. Heather Ali there, the ball bottled out of his hand and in the end it was a good catch. Kept his eye on the ball. That's again a brilliant piece of bowling. A slower through the air, with protection on the leg side. He picks out the fielder to absolute perfection who uses all body parts. Doesn't matter how you catch it in the end. Skipper goes for five, it's ten for three. Pull shot and played with a lot of power. Audacious hit. That spoils the fun for Naseem Shah. This kid has got talent. Oh, that's gone up in the air. It ain't working. It's working for Islamabad United. Kasim Akram sub picks up the catch, picks up a wicket, Imad Vaseem, and so this innings is slithering downhill and very fast. Flight, cross the line, against the spin. Horrible result for him and his team. He'll be disappointed, so will be quite up. 16 for four. Chance of a run out. I think it's gone. I think they are happy. Azam Khan feels that there's another one that's in the pocket for them. It's nice and slow, nice and slow. Yeah, bails are off. Better short of the crease. I'm ready to make my decision. Yeah, confirmation. Azam Khan might have travelled the world around the stumps to get it back on. That's two tonight for Quetta Gladiators. It's 16 for five. Cut shot. Breaks bit of boredom. Gets a boundary for his side. Quetta Gladiators reeling, struggling. Five down for 21. Catch it! Look at that. Here cries a catcher. You won't catch this. It's gone all the way to the dugout. There you go from Akia Hussain. Last one goes for six. It went for 13 the over. It's 36 for five here. Oh, sounded like great news. What a cracker. Brilliant from Akia Hussain with that long handle. 50 up. Good footwork enabled him to have that ball long from uh, the middle of the bat. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Sweet as a nut, this one. And admired by Shadid Khan, in fact. Join in the fun. Here's another maxi. Oh, this innings is getting a move on. Ray Mashrof is in. Bowls a slow ball to get his gig underway. Oh, chance of a run out. What? Ridiculous it is. Absolutely ridiculous. This has happened twice now. Bunts to mid wicket. Cause two straight away. They're coming. They're not coming. Akil Hussain. He's been burnt. He went on the early core. He cannot believe his luck. Very good innings. 31 from just the 18 balls. 68 for six. Shot beautifully done through the offside. What a classical shot that is. We've seen plenty of shots today, tonight. Oh, Bole played on. He's not happy. Fay Mashraf has got all smiles. And this is not working for Quetta Gladiators. They lose another one, seven down now. And I feel for Quetta Gladiators. I mean, they had to really produce a, a very fine chasing form. Not to be tonight, I think. He had absolutely no idea or control. Only matches six. They are now seven down for 85. Oh, that's belted through the offside. Probably will go and hit the fence. So a welcome boundary. That's gone for six. 
well hit. It had to be middle to miss. Martin got to let long off. Messing around. And yeah, that's the 100 up for the Quetic Gladiators as well. But they're still in there fighting. They're still in there swinging. Yusuf is now 41 from 31. And where there's light, there's hope. Oh, he gets it down there. He gets it down there somehow. That's spectacular. Nicked and gone over the top of Azam. Well, runs are crucial. Doesn't matter how they come. Got him! It's a beauty of a slower ball. And Mohamed Amir, who has swung speculatively, will swing no more. Hitting the middle stump, back of the hand, ball landing and, and gripping in the surface, taking the leg stump. Quetta losing their eighth wicket on 126. Tries to get it down to uh, third man, but he uh, will pick up a 50. Amir bin Yusuf, local lad from Karachi, I'm told by uh, a statistician, Azam Ashad, who's always uh, fast and loose with stats at any time of the game. In the air, should be taken, must be taken, is taken. And they get one step closer to another eliminator. Big mistake by Yusuf uh, picking up that single comfortable catch there for uh, Fahim Ashraf. Uh, spot on. Yes, yeah, Yusuf gone for 50. It's 129 for nine now. Got here, man. That is it. Islamabad United will face Peshawar Zalmi tomorrow evening in eliminator two. And then there were three teams left. Kuwaita have been eliminated in no uncertain terms. And Hernan was just wonderful. Nice and straight, hitting the bullseye and finishing the game. Both brothers have done wonderfully well in this tournament so far. Owners, extremely excited, very, very happy, and they should be. Well, it was all over for them in the power play. Five down. Only uh, Yusuf bin Amir with any sort of resistance whatsoever. A 50-20-50 for him from 37 balls. A little bit of a flourish from Akil Hussain, who actually timed the ball as well as anybody on this surface before he was run out by his partner Yusuf for 31. 23 from 14 from Mohamed Amir, who had a, a swing at the end. That was pretty much all there was to report. Islamabad United's bowlers, on the other hand, well, Imad Wazim again showing the credentials for a, a top left arm spinning all round. A three for 12 from four for him, two for 33 from Nassim. Shadab had a little bit of a difficult evening. That'll be something that might concern them. Fahim picked up a wicket, as did McCoy, as did Hunayn. Islamabad United, 174 for nine, having won the toss and batted. Up till the star with 56. He anchored things right the way through. Some uh, nice cameos from Sam Shadab and Hales. Wickets for Amir, Hussain, Shaquille, and Nabra. Quetta Gladiators fell apart in the first six overs. Five down for absolutely nothing. And uh, from there on, it was all she wrote. Imad was uh, superb in the power play. Three for 12 for the left arm spinner. Nassim picked up another couple of wickets. McCoy, a welcome entry for him for Islamabad United. He looks to be a real find with one for 13 from three. And Hunayn finished things off with the final wicket. Islamabad United winning by 39 runs and earning themselves a play in Eliminator 2.